Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me. Before we get started, I want to talk to you about my favorite, Exter. Baller. Not only my favorite wallet, but my favorite keychain, favorite weekender bag. I have everything and I love all of it. It's the it's become my go-to for any time I travel, for any time I use it, for any gifts that I give people, it's extra every time. And so many of you reach out to me for my code and to tell me that you got one for your husband or your boyfriend or your friend and they all love it. That's because extra is baller. And it sounds like this. I've been talking about the haptics forever. It's one of my favorite parts of the extra wallet. Not only that, but these Chipolo trackers are incredible. I had, I, I left it in the dash of my car for a little while because that's how you charge it. I leave it in the dash because it stays warm. You can chart, you can leave this in the sun for a few hours and it lasts like a month. It is crazy how good this is. And if you go to your phone and you go to your app and you lost your wallet like I do pretty much every single day because I have a bunch of different winter coats and whatever coat I was wearing last generally has my wallet. But sometimes I'm like, I'm not going to keep it in my coat this time. I'm going to put it somewhere else. I literally lose my wallet. I think every single day, but here's what you do. You just press this button right here. And it's easy to find. Also, it's really cool because I put my Tesla card here, and when I when I enter my car, I just press it on the windshield. It's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. And it holds like every card I could possibly need. Like I go to Costco, I don't even have to pull my Costco card anymore. I just do one of these, and they're like, you're good to go. And obviously, all the cards that you could possibly need. My wife uses one of these at work for all of her her nursing cards and things she keeps in there. It's slim. It's metal. It's got RFID protection, which is really really important for us. Their products are incredible, which is why I'm showing you these amazing pictures of the products. They look good when you're walking, they look good when you're standing still, look good when you're clicking the button to buy something at the store. Extra is the bomb diggity fresh. Get rid of the old dad wallet that's like this thick and hook your man up with one of these. If your man doesn't have one of these yet, what are you waiting for? Okay, if you don't have one of these yet, what are you waiting for? Travel with this bad boy, California. I mean, it holds so much stuff. I travel exclusively with this bag now because it carries everything I need. I even have a, uh, a charger that sometimes I'll just leave here. So I've got one of these battery pack chargers with my sticker on it, by the way. Okay, I throw that in the side and then I, I have a cable and I just charge my phone with it and I walk around. This thing is not only that, it's sexy, okay? It's beautifully built. The zippers are heavy, hardcore. I pack this thing solid and I love walking around with this. People at the airport compliment me all the time on this bag. Thing. If you are looking for what to get, and people are like, you know, I'm, I want to get extra for my friend or my boyfriend or my husband or my grandpa or my mom. If you're looking for something cool, especially for dudes, I think it's more of a dude thing, but you know, could be wrong. It is the Parliament Wallet. I have had this since my first integration with Exter, and it to this day has held up. There's, it is amazing. It's like it's brand new still. Okay, I don't know what's inside here, but it's made of the stuff that like Wolverine's claws are made out of something. Okay, it is so well done. Start with the Parliament for that loved one in your life, okay? It is amazing. You can even get ones with an AirTag holder in the middle, but I prefer the this one. I just prefer it. Uh, just slimmer, looks cool. The AirTag is also really awesome, don't get me wrong, but the Chipotle is my favorite. So please consider getting the Parliament and you can use my code, DAD, to get up to 55% off your purchase today for Christmas. You're gonna wanna order right now so you can get that before Christmas. Makes a perfect stocking stuffer. The bag makes a perfect big gift that they can open. For dads, it's specifically really hard to shop for Christmas because we always buy the things we want, but I guarantee you don't have one of these yet. So this is a perfect opportunity to order yours today. Again, use code DAD to get up to 55% off your first order you, and click the link below to get there, okay? That's how you do this. Make sure you head over to Exter, make sure you get it done so you can get that special someone, the best Christmas gift ever, okay? Again, thank you to Exter for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate that you guys are with me and that you sponsor these videos. You are incredible, you are amazing, and I hope nothing but huge success for Exter going forward. Let's get to the video. Everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it has started. The Dockery Dersons, Dockery Dozen, is going shopping. Now, I know she did a BJ haul, which I have. I was going to do that, but then she dropped this one where she's starting officially going shopping with Josh. Last year, they did this, and then they filmed like a bunch of them, and then went to the store to get new phones for every kid. Now, I think that's what she's going to do this year because that's all she has. These kids have literally everything any kid could ever imagine having, except for a few things when we're gonna talk about what we think those things are today. But before we do that, we're gonna spin the wheel, someone's gonna win a prize, we'll have a little fun, and get going. White Claw. Ugly Thumbs. 
Yapples! Nana, you son of a bitch! Nana, you're too loud! Angelica Melendez, that's a nice name. Just rolls off the tongue nice. You're probably super nice. And you win a prize today. Reach out to Josh at the dadchallengepodcast.com. Either shirt size and your address, and I'm hook you up. Let's get to the snark. It's that time of year. DCP is here to snark and to jeer for these buttholes to hear. Don't forget to book your pap smear. Snarkmas 2023. Ho, ho, ho! Nana, you son of a bitch! Your favorite and my favorite snark, the Dirkity Dersons. Dackery Dishish. Dackery Delusions. Dackery Delulus. I like that one. Dackery Delulus. It's nice. Um, so I guess we're going shopping. We got a 37 minute video. Something tells me this is only the first part of that shopping thing because I think they only did shoes. Because I saw the short where she's just piling on the shoes. But when her and Josh go shopping, it's a t it's a time to have some snark. So let's watch this video together. Hi everyone, it's Alicia. And <laughs> it's Alicia. <laughs> so funny. Don't giggle, laugh, and talk. Stop giggle, laughing, talking, giggle talking. I don't know what you call that. It's not funny. He's like, what are you like? Nobody. There's no fun. It's not funny. And today we are Christmas shopping for our 11 kids. Why is it that he only goes when they go Christmas shopping? It's weird. And like, a little late. Like, I'm done. Long done my Christmas shop. I speak to one of my mods. And I'm like, did you get your Christmas shopping done? She's like, yeah. Shopping's done. All wrapped. Ready to go. I'm like, all wrapped? Are you crazy? You crazy. All wrapped. My wife, <laughs> I thought everybody was like my wife, because I don't rap. I only rap my wife's gifts because I suck at rapping. I actually, this is the thing that we do every year. My wife, I don't know if she hates it or loves it, or she's like, eh, she hate loves it. But I love when she wraps presents on Christmas Eve or like at night, because the sound of rapping is like ASMR, and it makes me like, it like puts me out cold. This year, I honestly might set up a microphone and record my wife wrapping presents to show you guys how relaxing it is. I don't know how to explain it, She's really good at rapping too, but she's like a little tape and the wrapping and the folding and the freaking thing and the box moving. And the, I don't know how to explain it. It's so relaxing, but she wraps all of the presents because she's the rapper. And then Christmas Eve, we wrap on here the day before because I'm not sure which day I'm going to do it this year, but I get up here, I put a big table out and we wrap presents. We sing Christmas carols. It's really fun and I'm terrible at it. But you guys get to see all the things I buy my wife for Christmas before she gets to see them. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, all that to say is, what is he doing here? Okay? He's never there. You don't even go here, Josh. We're going to start at the new Dick's Warehouse. Well, new Dick's. It's semi-new. Um, semi-new. Is it semi-new or is it new? There's no such thing as semi-new. Okay, it's semi-nude at new Dick's. And look for some clothes for the kids. Let's go. <laughs> they don't need any clothes. And they don't need any shoes. That's for darn, like, especially Deshaun. The guy got, like, 100 pairs of shoes this year. No more shoes! Where do you even put them? Where do they put these things in this house? We, uh, someone sent me the video. I didn't see it. She did the a house walkthrough, a house tour, and there is just no reason for kids, let alone all the shoes that they have. There's no room for the food that they have. This place must be so, ew, you know? Ugh. There's no room for the shoes. Gotta keep up. Why you sound like you're in a fish tank? Let's go. Is he wearing a Dollarama shirt? He doesn't know how I shop. Yes, he does. What do you mean he doesn't know how you shop? Stupid. Why? Why would you say that? You, you, yes, he does. It's probably why he's going. Because he's probably trying to keep you in check. Yeah, what is that delightful smell? I don't know. Are we supposed to be able to smell through the camera? Yeah, I just saw other people walk in. All right, I just... Oh, it's like a whole warehouse sale. It's on the door. Oh. No, I just saw other people walk in. Oh, this is already, I don't like you guys. Right, Kurt, wait! Good morning. Good morning. We're filming this. We're filming it. Oh, my little stuff. Oh, my little stuff. This sucks. My wife and I went Christmas shopping today. Talk about being in tight spaces. My wife absolutely, like, we have a suburban. And when you drive under like a uh, parking garage, it look like she gets physically, I'm like looking at her like, are you okay? She's like, she's physically uncomfortable because she thinks we're going to scrape the top. 
And I'm like, look up. We're not. You have the sunroof. You could see it. It's like, there's like this much room left. She's like, yeah. Anyway, I'll say we went to a store and they're selling uh, they're selling things shirts that say like Taylor on them, not Taylor Swift, but Taylor in like 1989. And then it's like a store clearly that likes Taylor Swift. And they're selling Kansas City Chiefs. I think that's the name of the team stuff. Like we don't do football up here. No one cares about football in Canada. Like I'm sure some do, but it's not like we don't really care. We we don't obsess over it. It's hockey here. Okay, it's hockey and baseball. Baseball for me, but like hockey's our sport, right? But like because Taylor Swift is dating this. Tran- tra- tranquilizer what's his name tra- they literally now sell kansas city chief stuff because taylor swift is dating a guy on that team that is the power taylor swift has funniest part is I'm like what do you think is gonna happen when they, they break up like nobody's really watching these sports like what's gonna happen she's like they're not gonna break up this girl this girl at the check was a super fan my bad and i'm like you're the reason i said what i just said because you're a super fan and you got offended that i just said they might break up i mean The odds are severely in my favor of being right, considering all of Taylor's past, okay? That woman has dated every person on earth in Hollywood, from John Mayer to Jake Gyllenhaal to, I don't, Seth Rogen? I don't don't know. Tom Cruise? She's dated every single dude for some reason, and it's never worked out. You think this one's going to work out? This one's different? It's not. And he's a walking album waiting to be written and it's going to be hilarious to see what happens because if taylor swift fans turn on travis carson whatever his name is it's over for this guy he's going to be the go from the most loved football player i don't even know if he's good maybe he is to like the most hated football player and to be hexed and cursed taylor swift is I, i love her music except for her new stuff i love her old music and she's probably a super nice person super sweet very generous Probably an awesome girl. And I love that she hasn't like sold her soul to the devil and all kind of stuff. And maybe she has, I don't know. But like, I like that she's like, I don't know how you say this, like innocent sort of like, you know what I mean? Like she doesn't, like she's not Josie Grossy. She's kind of nice, but like is a curse. Her love life is a curse that has made her billions of dollars <laughs> in album sales. That's all I'm saying. So what would say you, even Taylor Swift fans, what do you think is going to happen when they break up? It's not if, it's when, Okay. <laughs> Imagine I did a video called Taylor and Tracy, whatever his name is, break up. Holy smokes, I'd get roasted. Ke- Travis, Travis Kelsey, right? That's his name? Yeah. All that to say, bills suck. Buffalo Bills are garbage. Are they? Let me go see. So Buffalo Bills are second in the AFL East or NFL East or something. That's pretty good, I guess. But they've lost almost as much as they won, so... It's close. I feel like if I lived in the States, I would be into football. Like, I'd have to be. I would, because I'm like, I'm a that bandwagon type of guy. And I'd find the team that, like, the Eagles are my team just because Mark Wahlberg started a movie about the Eagles. That's the reason why I'd be like, if I had a team, it's the Eagles. Okay? But I feel like if I was in the culture, I'd be in the culture. Do you know what I mean? I'd be doing all the tailgating. I'd be going to the games. I'd be like, I'd learn everything there is to learn about football. Everything. And I would be in. Because I feel like it'd be fun. Just people seem to have fun with it. Yeah. As much as I'm into pickleball right now. New York team. Who's that? Yeah, Detroit like... Stars? He'd be like an adult small. Okay. New York Mets. <laughs> Clearly the Yankees are better. Although everybody hates the Yankees. Though, if I was in the States and I didn't have the Toronto Blue Jays, I'd probably be a Yankees fan. No joke. Like, you'd want to be the Yankees fan, I think. Uh, Actually, now I look at it, it looks like women's. It looks like a women's fit, doesn't it? You're a women's fit. Burn. It is. Yeah. (laughs) It's all nice and snug or something around the boobs. Not that he would care anyways, but medium's too big. This dick sucks. It's like they took over one of those Halloween places and just put up their stuff. I think it's basically what it is here. I have to go. I'm going to Watertown tomorrow because like, well, today I'm in Watertown probably right now because like you guys have way better stores all for the stocking stuffers. And I'm like going with my neighbor. We're going to party. It's going to be great. We're so excited. And I can't wait to go to Target. I'm going to go to like, and my neighbor has never been Hobby Lobby. He's like, I don't think my neighbor's actually ever been to the States. Like I kid you not. She is like, has never been anywhere. 
So I get to be the first person to take her out of the country. It's going to be, I'm leaving her there. It's going to be funny. Hope she's not watching this. But uh, we're going shopping. We're going to be like, I'm getting stuff. Apparently there's just stuff because my wife doesn't watch it. But apparently elephant ears or elephant dung, elephant skincare, something like that. I have to go find this stuff. That's like apparently whatever it wants. And I'm going to get that from my wife. And my daughter, I think she wants it too. Elephant bum? Elephant bung? Elephant? I don't know what it's called. Elephant? Ugly elephant? Thirsty elephant? Brown elephant. Allergic elephant. What is it called? Armpits and elephants? Elbows and elephants. Elephants elbows? I don't know. But it's got, apparently it's all the rage. So we're getting that stuff. Walk on by the water bottles, lady. Just walk on by. Remember one of the first videos we did about Alicia? She took her kids and they bought like literally the most expensive water bottles, like hundreds of dollars for these things. And then never, we never saw them ever again. Never filled them up. And to this day at the BJ's hall, which we will cover like hundreds of bottles of plastic, like the plastic bottles of water. Why would you like, and those kids are like, I want this. And you start in the car. She's like, yeah, go ahead. Throw it in the car. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. So far I'm not wowed by anything. Nobody's wowed by you either. Burn. We get our back to school shopping here. Mm -hmm. Right, I know. And that was like three months ago. And now you're going to get more shoes. Your kids don't need shoes every three months. I don't... I'm a parent, okay? And I raise kids in the teenagerhood, right? They... Not even... They don't. They... No kid goes to that many shoes. I'm sorry. It is... Especially if all they do is sit home and play games. They do not go through that many shoes. She just gets them because she has nothing else to buy them. Because they have everything. Yeah, that's I can see the younger kids going through shoes because my youngers went through shoes a little bit, but like not to the degree that she buys them. It sounds like these kids are going through shoes like once a week. They're like, my shoes are turned into dust. It's been a week, like they're your jeans. That's what it sounds like, but there's just no way. Especially if she's buying quality, and I'm not saying Nike's the best quality, but they're quality-ish. They should last a little longer. They're leather. They're made of quality, sort of. Like Nike's known for its quality to a degree, especially when she's buying them $150 Nikes crazy speaking of which i have to get shoes while i'm over there tomorrow too because you guys have just better shoes than us wife and i at the mall art can it canada sucks balls for shopping we suck we have nothing just trash doc martens this is real doc martens 95 dollars for a pair of shoes you're gonna grow out of in like two months okay so apparently Brie would only like boots. Fun. Oh, those are 50, a little bit cheaper. That's good. Oh wait, these are in, I'm like looking at the UK size. Okay. They are Doc Martens. Seven. Oh, I bet we go by size. Wow, I bet you're it's so like good at shop. He doesn't know how to shop. Well, apparently you don't know how you shop either. Shows where it's like all the sevens are together. I was looking at those for James. Oh my gosh. You, think he, you were looking at those for James too? That's so funny. James just got some. What size is he? He's like a 12 and a half. You don't know what size your kid is? This guy, again, he doesn't do any, he doesn't know anything. And remember the moment he had with Deshaun because Deshaun's going to be a football star, apparently? That's, like, the grossest thing. Like, I know you want to support everybody, but he's never shown... Like, you've never seen a video like that about with any of his other children until one of the kids became, like, a prospect. I'm not, I kid you not. Like... 12 will work. Is it a wide? Well, yeah, look at that thing. Looks like a football. It looks like a wide. Yeah. Yeah, that will work. That's so funny. I was looking at those for... Have James in my mind. It's his style. Yeah, get those for James. Yeah. They don't even. Here's the thing that, and I noticed the comments on this video a little bit because I did a little research. Sorry, I usually don't, but I wanted to just see what the people were saying. And she never looks at prices. She just gets the car. Oh, one of these were like expensive. People were like commenting, like, I wish, like, this is the thing that Alicia does this, and people wish they could do this. They wish they dream of the moment that they didn't have to like budget and they could give their kids a dream Christmas. And there's so many people, especially this year in Canada and the US, it is a really, really tough year in a lot of families. Like, 
truly, truly, truly. And I think it's a record, especially here in Ontario, record breaking people are going to like food banks and getting support from churches and like uh, toy drives and stuff like that. Records, right? So if you have an opportunity this year and I'm going to go do it, go serve at a toy drive or drop some toys off at a toy drive because there's never been more need than now. And everybody's like, well, who's to blame? I'm t it's, it's taxes. And like, especially here, we have carbon taxes and the price of everything has gone up like a million percent. It's crazy. Yes, it's the government's doing it. There's no other way to say this. It's the government's. Get better government. I want to find those pink boots in Bree's size. So the store's a little confusing because they have men's footwear and then they have women's footwear and kids' footwear. Why is that confusing? That's everywhere. But footwear. then they have like this footwear. Maybe this is like the cheap no, stuff. This is like sports shoes, boots. It, Why do you say it like that? Boots, boots, boo, boots. It's very weird. It's confusing to me. She puts like eight O's in her boots. Boots. Guys, there you go. There is my Dex Warehouse tutorial. Thanks for the tutorial. That was dumb. So that, you just got a glimpse of her walking around with a camera shot. What if she tells people, like, why are you filming? Well, I, I'm a loser, and I film because this guy makes fun of me every day. <laughs> They're my size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> the Back to the Future guy laugh again. Oh, that's the one thing I love Back to the Future, okay? And the way that they made him laugh and he's like, uh, 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 like that, I feel like it's a mistake to do that. Like, was that, I'd like to know the story of that, why they made him laugh like that. It's weird, but I get memorable because I remember it. Maybe that's part of it. These are cute. <sighs> Coyote Toyota. Reminds me of Crazy Pieces. She always goes, that's Coyote. She like tried to blow up a balloon or something. She can't even, she has so much lip filler and face filler and fake teeth. She can't even blow up a balloon. She can't make a seal. <laughs> orange and blue. No, just because your channel is orange and blue doesn't mean your kids want to wear that garbage. That's cute. They're not cute. They're ugly. Like your jeans. What? Oh. No. What's a no for me? I close. No, you don't. Those are all so ugly. Those wouldn't be so bad if they didn't say Solomon on them. Please. Again, look at all the options you have. Nothing like that here. Nothing. Uh. Unless I go to like a Toronto mall or something. They have like really Nikes. good deals on Nikes. Yeah. Well, how do you know they're good deals? You don't look at the prices. Yeah. Um, so. And I'm sure $71 is not a good deal. <laughs> Ew, I saw your thumb. This is another James. Like every shoe here is perfect for James. What size is that? It's a 13. 13. Is that wise? She sounds like that's like what her thumb would speak. Like, it sounds like if her thumb could talk, she'd do things like, boo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Holy crap, this sucks. Move along. Holy, they only have one pair so far. Like, it, it's such lazy content. It makes me so upset because... There's no commentary, just talking to the douchebag who's your husband. There's no cutting, there's no music, there's no like fast forwarding, there's no like creativity at all. None, zero. That's why she's not gonna last. Like, she'll make 5,000 views here. She'll like, she's getting down. Like, she's getting down. I haven't looked at her channel in a while, but like, it's like falling apart. She has 2,700 uploads, 2,700 videos on this channel. Holy smokes. So here we go B. 1.4 million. She's still growing. It's crazy. Although, no growth in the last 30 days. Uh, how many views? She, I remember when we first took a look at this, it was something like 150 million views or something like that in 30 days. What's it at now? 
Let's take a look. 12 million, almost 13 million views in the last, like, still tons and tons and tons of views, like, that's crazy, bananas crazy, but a lot of that comes from her shorts, it's not from her main videos, uh, yeah, she's absolutely not, she's falling apart, like, it's, she's done, like, if you look in her past right here, so, <clears throat> Christmas stockings for our living kids, we should cover that too, apparently she just puts a bunch of trash in there like she did last year, just plastic garbage, nobody gets something different, like our kids' stockings are like one of the most creative things ever because each kid gets something different and it's like, she's like, I'm going to buy all this Dollar Tree crap and put it in here. And it's all the same for every single kid, even from the 18-year-old to the two-year-old. It's crazy. Um, so, but her Christmas stuff obviously gets her more views, 55,000, 67,000. But like her regular stuff that she doesn't going to change, Sephora, like a, a Advent Calendar, 11,000 views. That's probably one of her lowest views ever in a long time. Six days ago, so all her shopping hauls that are like close to 100,000 views. But her regular views, like cooking and stuff like that, cooking, I say that very lightly, nothing. 20,000 views for a channel with 1.4 million subscribers? Walmart haul, 140,000. Even her Thanksgiving, 51,000, because nothing. I get more views than her. I get more views than her. So her shorts must be like obviously added, padding that because it's just... I don't understand, like 1.2, 15,000, 26,000. Yeah, it, it, shorts are definitely adding to the to the thing, and shorts don't pay you. They don't pay you at all. So, yeah, it's absolutely, she's got tons and tons and tons of shorts. That's where the money's, yeah. She's still making decent money, don't get me wrong, but she's absolutely, they're falling apart. Those are ugly. Because ugly. he's been liking 11s lately. Ug they're all ugly. That's also ugly. That's a no. Half eleven. Burr, 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 burr. Like Nike runs true to size or small. Yeah, Patrick needs. He's a ten now. <sighs> I think we lost our cart. That's because you're sitting there just looking at things, not putting anything in it. This will be the third one, but this is about a younger. Really Those aren't bad. I feel like NMDs are like out and they used to be super in. I have like five pairs of NMDs from China. The reps. I can't buy, I can't find how to get the reps anymore, but there's ways you can get reps. I have all my reps and they all lasted me as long as like, you can't even tell the difference. Actually, I have one pair of true NMDs I got last year and they are like, they're decent. They fit just as well as reps. Why are you getting the ugly? Why are you touching all the ugly shoes? Every time she touches an ugly shoe, an angel loses their thumbs. Pause <laughs> screens. She looks like the Grinch. Patrick. Patrick. No. Why are you touching the ugly ones? Why is the radio so loud in here? Are you right next to the speaker for the radio? What do you think of these for Patrick? He doesn't. He doesn't care because no one cares. Only person that they care about who gets the, is Alex and Deshaun, the oldest boys. They because they care. The other kids don't care. They're all right. All right. All right. What's this? So they're all right. So that's not the answer. If they're all right, that's not the ones you get them. What I think. You pick out a pair. What'd you get? Who's this? Who's? What's her day shots? Those are all day shots. Oh, that's true. Oh, well, I was going to say, yeah. What? You just had, you just got five pairs of shoes. Is there, those, you guys suck at picking shoes. Terrible. Why don't you take the oldest boys to go shopping? For the young kids, they know what's fresh, generally. Get them to pick it out. You guys suck. You wear, like, Seinfeld shoes, so stop it. All right, what would you pick for Patrick, then? Hmm? Because you got to think in Patrick's brain. You don't think in anybody's brain. You don't what do you mean you gotta think of Patrick's brain. He doesn't care, man. Kid doesn't care about shoes. Cares about other things, probably. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure you told us. And everybody on the internet. He's just gonna slip them on. He wants something that's easy to slip on. 
It's Macy's one day sale with great deals at the dollar. What? So what? What? Ooh, look at this orange and blue. Pink. No, stop going for the orange thing. Uh, Brooks. Okay. Brooks are lame. Yeah, these ones. No. The ones that you just passed by were pretty cool though. Check. What? All right, this is what Josh picked for Deshaun. Ultra Boost. They're comfortable. I'll give you that. These. What are these? I was right. You know why I'm right? Because Tyson. Because Tyson's literally like a shoe fiend or something. Like he's a whore for shoes. That's what Kira would say. Tyson, would you agree that you are a whore for shoes? Okay? You are just like, he knows. He'd be like, <laughs> historic time. Like when, when we lived, when Tyson lived at home, he'd be like, we'd all be around the kitchen just talking and Tyson's getting one of his like, gets into one of his, I don't know what you call these, like the talking phases where he's just like, he has to talk to us for like an hour to unload everything that's been in his brain for the last week. Okay. I might not hear from this kid for like a week. And he's like, okay, I'm about to unload everything in my brain from the last week. Get ready. And we, get, we just didn't talk, shoot the breeze. But man, when he starts talking about shoes, I don't care. So I like, I care that you care, but I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. And he'd still go. And he'd know. But he'd know. He's trolling me for sure. But he knows his shoes, that's for sure. 100%. He's a sneakerhead. Right. How many pairs of shoes do you have, Tyson? Put the number right here. See? What's your favorite pair of shoes, Tyson? Put them right here. Okay. And a pair of What's a pair of shoes you can't get in Canada, but you would want these people to find for you? Put them right here. Zoom. Everybody, give a thumbs up for Tyson for doing a great job on my videos. He's killing it. He's doing a great job. Okay, these are all ugly. James, the New Balance. New Balance. Love screen. For who? Um, fresh foam trail. Your fresh foam. I really like trail shoes for James. A because he walks the dogs on trails every day. And is James the only person that walks those dogs? B. So it's like and A and B cut at culinary school, not slippery. Mm -hmm. No, if you're gonna wear and Tyson knows this because he worked at Don's, uh, you can't just buy any brand of shoe to work at the store if they're at a restaurant. You need to buy restaurant grade like safety shoes because they have a different type of rubber because that gets oily and greasy and it's dangerous. You can't just wear New Balance. That's not gonna work, right, Tyson? See. Story time. When I used to pick up Tyson from Don's, it was so funny. He oh, like every day you pick up Tyson from his shift. It didn't matter. He had a full bag of McDonald's because that's his dinner, right, or whatever. And he's he had the Tesla uh, in this like, and I had, I loved my Tesla because it has this really like quick torque if you put it on. And every time Tyson would go to drink, and he'd always forget I was about to do it too. Like he'd never remember I did it. So he'd be like, oh yes, and I put the torque on. He'd be like, <laughs> it was strong. So mad, and then like, and then I go take a drink again, and I would do it again. He's like, "Oh, stop it!" I'm it's sorry. It's funny. Like right next. Yeah, exactly. Again, that's why I think there's no. It's not wired for sound. It's just like we rented this office space for shoes. Let's see. Let's see. No. 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 Too many air bubbles. You think of these for I am once again asking if you guys see Andre Agassi's in size ten and a half or eleven to let me know. Alex. I'm not even gonna wear them, I'm gonna display them on my wall in the back. Some people have sent me some like links on eBay and stuff. I'm not paying four hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, guys. Like I know it's like I deserve them from my childhood trauma but I'm not paying $400 if you find a pair for like 150 you let me know yeah okay oh my gosh no Josh pick and shoes he'd wear another pair for Patrick what do you think about why can't your kids two pairs of shoes Alex. I wouldn't pick shoes for Alex yeah see what he said I wouldn't pick exactly cause he won't wear them I'm picking if we're getting shoes for the other three right, team size? boys and we He doesn't want to argue. He's like, I whatever, get size. He's not even gonna wear them. Like care. You have so much waste anyway, what does it matter? One more pair of shoes, $150. Don't get shoes for Alex. Yeah, Alex won't care. 
He won't give a crap. 13. You don't like and you're like throwing them under the bus by saying that. You don't like these? I like No, them. they're ugly, man. Those are ugly. Um, you don't like them. He's like, no, you won't like them. like them. Tyson, what type of shoe? Anybody for anybody watching has child, let's say between the ages of like who were running around, like three and like seven or eight, what type of shoe should they get for a kid? Put it right here. Okay, cool. And then for anybody like 13, like teenager who likes shoes. What is the freshest shoe right now that they should get their kids? Tyson will know. Four, four. Five, can you finish that? I'm going to go look for girls. Forehand wrinkles. So it's apparently I can't pick out teen boy shoes. Well, look at you. All right, over to the women's. Okay, Brie is no. like a nine and a half, ten. I'm gonna go up to a ten. Should I take you guys shopping with me tomorrow? That'd be fun, eh? Hmm. Although I'm not seeing anything spectacular. You're not even looking. Those are alright. Those are alright. Those are alright. Those are not bad. So then put them back if they're the good ones. No. Not bad. I don't mind those. Those are nice. Those are nice. Like those. Yeah, those are good ones. All right. Well, Thank you for listening to me. Finally. Now listen to me about not exploiting your children. What? Ectomax zooms? Those are ugly, man. Nike, what's your problem? Yeah, like these for Brie. Those are good ones for Brie. She'll like those. So he's a seven and a half. I don't want to flex or anything, but I'm a really good gift getter. No. Stop picking ugly shoes. Put them down. Mm. Tush pa. She's so hard to buy shoes for. She likes Adidas. She won't like those. I feel like Zoe's a black sheep and the coolest one in the family, so. Just get her something weird. No, no. 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 Those are like pickleball shoes for 80 year olds. Yeah. I think she'll like these too. No. Which means we gotta get Brace to do another pair. Are you getting kids multiple pairs of shoes? Okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see which pair she likes. Dad's pick. Or Wait, what? Yeah. No. Mom's. I mean, maybe she needs shoes because the other kids have eighteen pairs of shoes. Okay. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm see. So it's a competition. She can just waste money. So she's not gonna like one pair and she's gonna not ever wear them. Good. Really watch that. Let's get free another pair. Although. Wait, what? You get those boots for her, but they don't... Yeah, get him a pair of, like, nice, sandaly Uggs. Not the Uggs with the... F okay, I posted on Instagram the other day, and I was like, okay, if you wear these Uggs, we can't be friends. I didn't mean Uggs, normal Uggs. Normal Uggs are fine, okay? They're cool. It's the Uggs with the big, giant platform on them. You look dumb. Don't wear those. Don't wear those in public. Okay, I'll judge you. I judge you now if you have those. <laughs> Some of you have them. And you're like, Josh, it's not fair. I'm just telling you how it is, because that's what friends do. Keep it real. Don't buy the platform mugs. You look dumb. Cool? Cool. You look like Astro Boy. Follow um, them in her size. Okay. All right, let's do the same for Brie. You're going to pick a pair for Brie. She's a 10. You pick a Brie pair. She's a 10. Did I grab these? Oh, no, I got the right size. Okay. No. Hard no. Okay. What are you kidding me? Why you didn't even try? You won? No, those are she ugly. Pick. She she got some... pick and shoot. Where are all the lids? She's got some slip-ons. Alright. Alright. Let's go look for the kids. Alright. Um, speaking of kids, I can't remember what size the boys went up to here. Because the twins... Did I tell you Jason's winter boots I had to get a seven? Yeah. No. Because you guys don't talk. Uh, so actually... And he doesn't care. The, the twins... You gotta go back over to the men's section for the twins. Oh, no, wait. They have sixes. 
You just said he was a seven. Because Jason's up to a seven. I would honestly get them both seven. Are they twins? Seven and men. Yes, I know. Whatever you see. Huh? Probably just one for the twins. They have so many shoes. Yeah, they do. Um, so you don't need them. You do not, like, why does a talking he doesn't do this? Why does every kid have to have the exact same thing every other kid has? That's not fun. That's not original. That's so garbage. Like, there's stockings, everything. Everything, everybody gets the exact same thing. Oh, you break a TV, get another one. Everybody gets a PS5. Everybody gets a Switch. Everybody gets the same games. Everybody else. No sharing in this house. No sharing. Um, I know. Yeah. What? Okay. Dash is like a two. Yeah. Dash is like a two and a half. Oh wait, honey, they have sevens over here. I'm sorry. Not bad. Now, if you can find seven youth, you're gonna pay half the price. Uh, a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, and good. seven men's. No, you're not. That's stupid. Your merp face is dumb. Yeah. Like you can't, like why do you keep talking about prices, Alicia? You don't even look at the price. Ever. You don't care about the price. You blind shop at Costco. You know how crazy you have to be to blind shop at Costco? You don't even care. You don't even know you're like, oh that's surprising. One million dollars for water. Yeah. No. Funny. Those are all right. Ooh. Yeah, he does have a pair of those. I don't have those yet. Yeah, he has a Nike version of those. And you know how we know? Because we've seen you buy it. When you guys see the total that's been tallied so far of what she spent this year, and that's like, we're, not even, we're missing a lot of stuff. You're going to be flabbergasted. Okay, you look for the twins. I'll look. Can you be flabbergasted or you will flabbergast? You'll be flabbergasted. I think it's flabbergasted. For Harley... Why'd you name your kid Harley? After a comic book character, by the way. Because her name is Harley Quinn. After the psychopathic character played by Rob Margot Robbie. And Margot Robbie. Okay. Speaking of Margot Robbie, I put Barbie on the other day because Everly's like begging me to watch it. Because she watched it with mom and she loved him. And everybody's saying how good it is. Okay? <laughs> no, it's not. Margot Robbie is the only saving grace in that film. She's amazing. It is so bad. Like, it's so bad. I didn't even finish watching it. It's not, it's not like, oh, it's like feminist. Not, I don't care about all that stuff. That's great for girls. I love that for my daughter. Like, girl power all the way. It is just bad. What? Am I taking crazy pills? You guys, it's not good. Maybe I have to get another chance. I don't know. Maybe I was in a bad mood. It was not good. Ryan Gosling's good, though. Like, Ryan and... They, they cast them well, but, like... The the higher up... What's his name? Freaking... Um, oh, my gosh. What's the guy from Lego? From, like, the Elf. Holy. Like, that was so weird and dumb. Am I wrong? It's bad. Okay, these are all right here. Okay, so 12s are only right here. So you have like one to choose from this size? No. Probably already has those. some Nike slip-ons for Harley? What do you think? Yes. She doesn't, yeah, okay, let's go. She, she, she has the purple pair of Yeah. She, she doesn't care. Like slip-ons. Why are they one? making shoes that look like Willy Wonka barfed? Jordan or Jason? No. I should have guessed. I was thinking Jordan. All right, I'm going to get Nike slip-ons for Harley. We're not even halfway through this video yet. Let's go. Here we go. People are walking by like, Are you okay? Do you work here? Are you putting stuff away? <laughs> like, where's the skinny jeans and her feet are like this big? She's like Tara Anderson feet. Let 
Maybe you should get yourself a pair of shoes, <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Guys, if you're going to be respectable out there shopping, get yourself a pair of Bluntstones. They literally go really great with jeans. Bluntstones. You just look like... All oh, those story time. I went to a hockey game, my neighbor's hockey game, because like, she's playing hockey and she's really good and brought the kids and got fries and it was awesome. And every single hockey... Every single hockey parrot. Bluntstones. Everybody wearing Bluntstones. Everybody. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm looking at I'm like, I'm wearing my Bluntstones. like, it's a hockey thing, I think. I honestly think that. Like, it's their expensive boots. And it's like, it's like a sort of like a flex in the hockey mom world. Dad's wearing them too, though. Interesting. If you don't have Bluntstones, get yourself a pair of Bluntstones. I don't think you have them in the States, but just order them online. They're amazing. Get a half size, like a half lower than you think. Because they, they do stretch and... Ooh, they're nice. I have two pairs. Oh, she's wearing a tiny backpack. You know how I feel about tiny backpacks. Stop it. Stop it right now. Okay. Why are you, why are you doing that? Okay, so I like that colorway. I didn't like the other colorway. Those aren't bad. Those aren't bad. I would get those for Westy. I might get those for Westy tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Holy shnikes! We got this pair for James, and I had ordered him a pair of black sockinies that are at home. Got so every kid's getting two pairs of shoes for Christmas. Patrick Holy. Deshaun. What about boots? Um, like, do, do they even wear shoes in the winter? You don't wear, you wear boots. Kids wear boots outside. Bree, Zoe. Okay, Zoe so got totally pff, ripped off on the shoe. Total garbage, those are. Both those are garbage. Dash, Jordan, Jason, Bodie, Harley. Okay, you already did the pass by. Alrighty. Tower of shoes. Tower of thumbs. No, you did not Tetris that to Mom Doherty ability. You're, you suck too, Alicia. What are you talking about? You suck. You just grab another cart. It's okay. You never tower. You just grab carts, carts. Alright. Carts on carts. <laughs> you need to put stuff on the bottom. Oh. We're good. Okay. They hate each other. Can you blame them? Oh, well, um... No, I'm not seeing anything. Imagine Josh probably sits there like a day and they probably get with their accountant. And their accountant's like, you spent $350,000 this year on like groceries and stuff. Like, you need to chill on spending. Can you imagine all like, and there's nothing to show for it. Their kids, all the things that they buy their kids, they either lose them, break them or whatever, right? Throw them in the garbage. Nothing to show for this. Nothing. Like the amount of money they just spent on the dang Kona truck. I don't know. What do you think? Zoe loved the clothes she got here. All right, let's move on. No. She has like five thousand sweatshirts. Some kid or more than. Dash is like a for jacket, like at eight ten. Too big. It's ten, but it looks. There's more coats back there, so let's look back there. Okay, I have don't get your for the don't kids. get your coats your kids coats for Christmas. It's not a good Christmas present. Thanks for this thing that you should have got me before it got cold. This isn't a present. This is a necessity. Get wrecked. Mostly at BJ's. It's like buying yourself curtains for Christmas. Summit Target. Bodie doesn't like. I should just donate it. He's not gonna wear it. It's brand new. I gotta donate it. Make sure I say it on camera. Donate it to the homeless guys that gave the sandwiches to last year. Right? Donate it. Donate it. Right? No, it's like this orange. Oh my gosh! I hate. <laughs> listening to her talk I remember people go on spring break and summer well, I wonder where they're going on the next vacation destination I'm surprised they haven't been to Disney like all the money that she spent on vacations she's never been to like good vacations never once vacations they've been to Vegas <laughs> and all they do is they go and then they just buy a bunch of junk food and they sit around a hotel get some tanks for I feel like a cruise would be a perfect Doherty does something. The kids would have a ball. They get all the good food, all they want, get their own time. They don't have to like be around each other. They have kids programs. Like, take them on a cruise. Get them something that they deserve and don't film it. 
For the love of Pete, don't film it. Just take them somewhere where they can enjoy themselves and have a little bit of independence. The uh, twins? They got indoor flag football starting in think. Uh, Yeti. It's weird. Get these for the twins. The twins like to wear Oh my Jason. gosh. Socks. Uh, Josh. Right, he'll like it. Why is he having a University of Notre Dame shirt? Did he go to University of Notre Dame? I doubt it. Boring! Here we go. Get some. Stop showing your thumb. Will you look in those primes right there, please? Primes. Stop on your kid prime. It's garbage. Um, limited edition prime that apparently you carry. Why? Why do you need limited edition prime? For what reason? For what? Limited edition, you drink it and throw it in the garbage? What's the limited dish? F off. Stop buying, stop supporting the balls. They're gross. Nasty people. Stop giving people that are, don't deserve it your money. It's like the Dodgers or something? I went to a forest to find dead people and dress like a, an alien. And like... Is a loser. Something you don't have that. Okay. Did you ever have it? No. Okay. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Look at they did. They have a blue sole and a yellow sole, so the kids can tell which side to wear them. That is smart. Or just, you know, show your kid what to do. That's the thing you could do. Where are we going to find Dodgers Prime? You don't need it, Dodgers Prime. Kids don't need that garbage. For things that... Too much money. <laughs> no, I had kids ask for impossible things right before Christmas. <laughs> hey, didn't. They probably asked you for months ago, but you always wait till before Christmas to go get things. That's why they don't... That's why you do this stuff. Everybody gets the same darn thing. Because <laughs> you don't care what your kids... You, they, they don't have... They have personalities. They do. They all like different things, but Alicia doesn't care. They dress isn't the same. They all get the same stuff. The stock is the same. Everything's the same. Everybody is going to eat this donut for breakfast. $20 for two drinks by Logan Paul. And you're going to give him your money. You're stupid. You're dumb. The white and blue one? Okay. That's stupid. So Stop feeding your kids prime. $1,224. for shoes. For shoes that they already have so many of! I mean, for like 12 kids though, it's like not that bad actually. She's using her Visa business card. Interesting. It also makes me think that she does use business money to pay for all these things. Although, like, in the end, you can use whatever money you have. Like, your business is, like, your money anyway. You just have to pay it back. And I think that's what's probably happening. If the IRS gets wind of what she's doing and she doesn't take care of that and, like, doesn't pay herself back her business. Because you can't just take whatever you want in your business. You owe it back. Like, you can take dividends. You have to pay tax on them. Your business can all pay for it if you're going to put the money back in. Right? As long as there's, like, earmarked. But I don't think that she does. I think she probably owes herself hundreds of thousands of dollars. I honestly believe that. And if it's not, she's not going to go to jail or anything in the IRS, but she's going to owe herself money. And if she doesn't do it, she's going to have to pay tax on all that money. And the IRS is going to come just waiting, licking their palm, coming to get you. Five across the ice with the IRS. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 70, 70, 70, $135. What the heck? Another one for $135. Thank you. Holy tabouli. Here you too. We have $135 shoes. Two of them. Two of them. 
two of those were under thirty. See, she why does she even talk about prices? She doesn't know what she's spending. She has no idea. She doesn't look at the prices. She blind shops. Imagine being able to do that. Alex. Yeah, Alex. He's not even gonna like the shoes, and you guys admitted it. Alex is an expensive kid. You bought him a Jeep. Oh, you're not done. Day two's coming tomorrow. It's very helpful having you uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay, we spent an hour in there. Josh's gonna drive over so we can load all this in. And then doesn't get out to help? Nice. Nice. Nice one. You're gonna hit your car with the buggy? Okay, that is going to be it for our part one. See, I knew it. Part two, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of Christmas shopping. I thought you weren't going to show it on camera because your kids watch your videos. Didn't she say that? She lied to you. And what is the sleeves? What are these shoulder pads right now? What's going on with the shirt? Why do you look like Voltron? Stop it. But thank you for coming to Dick's Warehouse with us and doing some of our <laughs> shopping. Dicks. You are strong. You are beautiful. Your shirt is ugly. You are loved. And your earrings are ugly. You belong. And, and you're dumb. I'm so proud of you. And your eyebrows are not real. I'll see you next time. Wow, that was garbage. Hot, sweet, sticky garbage. Jeez, man. Look, I know Christmas is time for kids, and you got to spend the money make kids Christmas magical. And if you don't have it, that sucks, and I feel for you, and don't watch this stuff, okay? But again, let me reiterate this before we take a deep breath. If you have the capacity this year to donate to toy drives, please do so, and check what is the most donated things that they need. Don't just be like, expect, because I saw a video the other day, it's like, the most things we miss are from kids zero to two, for some reason. And then the things that we like the most for teenagers or this and that, do a little research and find those things if you can. If you feel like you have a little bit extra this year or going to serve is just as good at these toy drives, I'm looking for a place to go do it. I love doing that stuff. It's so much fun, festive and all that stuff. But please consider donating this year because it, there are so many people in need. If there are food banks, if you're in Ontario, so we have, we have food banks, it's different than you guys, please consider donating money to food banks, not just food. Both are good, but if you have one to choose, please do money because food banks have purchasing power. So if you if you bring one jar of peanut butter to a food bank or give them $7, they can buy three jars of peanut butter with the $7 instead. So please consider this year if you do have that capacity to donate to those places. I don't know how you do that, the food thing in the States, but in Canada, it's food drives. So please, 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 if you can. But let's all take a deep, deep breath. <sighs> Breathe out the shoe goo. Okay, Alicia, you smell. Okay, just stinky. Stinky thumbs. You guys don't have stinky thumbs. You have normal looking awesome thumbs. And if you do have weird thumbs, you're still cool by me. But if you wear those weird Uggs, we're not cool. Okay? Don't wear the platform Uggs. Wear the normal Uggs. All right? Cool. Yeah? You guys are amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. And I will see you when I see you. It's that time of year. DCP is here. To snark and to jeer For these buttholes to hear Don't forget to book your pap smear Snarkmas 2023 Ho ho ho! Now you son of a bitch!